I'd like to let my audience know that I have the charming and the talented and uh, SAG Award nominated Patrick J. Adams, and you know him on Suits. Patrick, thanks and welcome to the Velder BB Show. Thank you so much for having me. Well, I'm excited to talk with you because I watched the very first episodes of Suits. So I'm oh, going to really? say I'm your longest running fan. You're original. You're an original <laughs> fan. I'm an original fan. And it's still doing extremely well. You're in season four, from what I understand. We are. We're just finishing off season four. We took a little break, and now we're coming back to do the last six episodes of the season. Okay. What are we going to find in the last six episodes? What, what keeps bringing us back? Because we keep coming back. Well, right now, we, uh, we ended the season before with uh, Lewis Litt um, being the last character, really, on the show to find out the secret that has sort of driven the show forward for the last four seasons, which, of course, is that Mike Ross is a uh, fraudulent lawyer who never went to law school. Um, and he's obviously the most dangerous character to have this information. So in these last six episodes, we're really dealing with the consequences of having him find out and seeing how he plans to use that to his, uh, to his own benefit and how that tests everybody in the office. Okay, let's stop and let's just take a brief moment as a little time we have together. Because, uh, like I said, I know the storyline from the beginning. Mm -hmm. How do you think it is to live with a lie? And that's what this is. This is mm -hmm. We can call it what we want. We can gloss it over. But how do you think it is to live with a lie and always afraid to be uncovered? Because this is what your character does. You know, I think it's the crux of the drama, and, I, and for me, you know, it's, it's, it's a terrifying prospect. Obviously, his reasons for doing it from the beginning were always pretty good. I think Mike's heart is in the right place, and that's why the audience, I think, over the years has forgiven him for what, he, for what he's done, because they know he, he wants to do good. But the truth is, is that there's no real easy way out of this. And with every person that finds out the secret, he's kind of pushed further, further into a corner. And not just a corner where he's going to hurt himself or his own life, but now he's going to really hurt the people who he's grown to love and respect over the last you know, three years of the show. So it's a difficult circumstance, and, and it's not made any easier by having someone like Lewis Litt have the information. Well, I think we can identify because maybe within us there is that secret. I yeah. really believe it. Because it, it, it's, it's, Seuss is very real to me from how the lawyers are, from how the characters are. So you guys are kind of life imitating art and art imitating life. I think that's a big part of your success. Yeah, I agree. I think people can, I think we all can relate to some degree as to holding something inside of ourselves that we're scared to admit to either ourselves or the people around us. And I think there's a, there's a reason why that's so common in television, the, the character with a deep, dark secret. Okay. So now they said most recently you start in a television miniseries. Mm-hmm. Rosemary's Baby. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Alongside Zoe Saldana. Yeah, it was great. Okay. Well, that's an oldie but a goodie in a sense. Yeah. Well, I mean, the original film is incredible, and, and getting the opportunity to work with Zoe was a uh, dream come true. So we had fun. I got to live in Paris for three months. It could be worse. That's not bad. That's not a bad, you know, side effect of working really hard. And you are working real hard. You've got a lot of different things going on. Are you also a photographer or take pictures? That's right. Uh, I'm actually here in New York right now with one of my first gallery shows uh, of pictures I've taken behind the scenes of suits over the last four years. So um, that is a whole other aspect of my life that finally is sort of starting to take some shape. Well, we're going to call you a renaissance man. How about that? I'll take it. <laughs> I'll let you do that. Yeah, that's, a, that's a great title. Let me ask you, with the, with the second half of suits coming up to end the season, uh, I know we're going to have some different things. What's, going to, what's the biggest thing to watch for? I know you can't give away the secrets, but what do we need to be watching for? Because I love a, a, a secret unfolding. I would say that a big thing to watch out for is the relationships between some of the men and the women on this show. Um, I just think a lot of them are going to take a, some, some leaps forward in the, uh, in the next few episodes. And... Uh, People are going to have to. They're going to be put in decisions. They're going to be put in positions where they're going to have to make decisions one way or the other. And uh, I think some people have really been waiting for that to happen between all of the interpersonal relationships on the show. That and as well, Gabriel and I both directed an episode for the first time in these in these back six. So I think for fans of the show, that's going to be fun to to see us step behind the camera for episodes. Well, you are Renaissance man. See what I said? You're just doing it all. 
But I know sometimes you have to catch that window, and it seems like your window is open, Patrick Adams. Well, I want thank to thank you. you for talking to us. Tell us when you want us to watch Suits and where, what network? It's on uh, January 28th on USA at 10 p.m. We're coming back and uh, running for six weeks, and we're so excited to have everybody tune in. Well, I think you've got me and my audience already hooked, so don't worry about that. Just try to find other new fans because we're there for you. Thank you so much, Valder. It was great to talk to you. Thank you for being on the Valder BB Show. It's been my pleasure. Bye.